Hey guys, welcome to Clandestino Brewing. This time we're gonna brew a Bohemian Pilsner. A, I'm gonna do two decoctions on it. Uh, what's interesting in this, I got actually a Ukrel, uh, a strain of uh, a yeast. So we're gonna see what uh, what the result. So let's let's get that ready. Hey guys, as you see, we smacked the pack. So we just gotta shake it, leave it at room temperature, and wait till tomorrow, should be swollen, and then add it to our starter. And for right now, what we're gonna do is just like start waiting all the grain, mill it, get it all ready for Sunday, okay? Let's do it. Hey guys, I got the recipe right now. So what are we gonna use right now for the grain bill? It was gonna be nine kilos, 920 grams of uh, European Pilsner's malt. We're gonna use one kilo, or just uh, 840 grams of uh, carapils, and one kilo, 380 grams of a uh, wheat malt. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna weight it, we're gonna mill it, and Sunday when I'm been brewing, I'll be telling, uh, we're gonna add to what so we're gonna need for hop, what hop we're gonna use, what the alpha acid and all this stuff. Okay, for now, we're just gonna start milling. Okay, let's start it. Hey guys, well, we're ready. As you see, we already milled the grain. We got the, the cheese getting ready. Um, we're just gonna get together the, the mash done and we're gonna start making the, technically it's a clone of a, an ukrel. Ukrel? Okay, let's start. Hey guys, well to start we're gonna we're gonna put an um, eleven and a half gallon of water. Hey guys, well, what we're gonna do now is um, we got it, uh, it's about like 63, uh, sorry, 53 degrees right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take six liters out of the grain and we're gonna put it on our decoction uh, ton, uh, decoction kettle, let's call it this way. Uh, we're gonna heat it up, the temperature to 65 degrees, we're gonna let it rest to do the certification. And then as a little rest, we're gonna do the iodine test to make sure that we got all the traction. About in about 20 minutes, uh, maybe sometimes it takes 20 to 30 minutes. So let's um, we do the test. After that, we're gonna boil it for 10 minutes and then we're gonna put it back into our main mash. 
and then basically that's going to be our first decoction so we're going to start with that one and then we explain the second one all right let's start All right, guys, let's start. Well guys, as you see, we do the iodine test. We're ready to um, <clears throat> uh, heat up. Technically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna boil. Very important, be stirring, stirring, stirring all the time so we don't get any scorched beer. All right, let's, let's get it on. Well guys, as you see, we finished boiling, it was 10 minutes, now what we're going to do, we're going to pour it back into the main mash, and then we're going to, I know I said for 6 liters in the beginning, but there were 4 liters, um, I will correct that in the video, no worries, uh, also, we, um, what we're going to do, we're going to put it back, and then we're going to get 6 liters now, why we get more in the beginning is just because we're going to throw this back into it, so when we get... If we're gonna get four four liters again, is the chances that we get just four liters that doesn't contain any of this one is very very high. So what we're gonna do is like, uh, what we're gonna do, uh, sorry, it's very very low the chances. Sorry. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is so that's why we get two extra liters. So kind of estimate that we got four liters again of a clean or let's call it pure grain. All right, let's put it back into it. Well guys, uh, we transferred 6 liters, now we're going to mash it for half an hour and then basically boil it for 10 minutes, bring it back, okay? Well guys, as you see, we finished. Uh, I did another island tell just to make sure I didn't film it, but just to make sure so what are we going to do? This one is already at 65. It's matching already. So what we're going to do, we're going to boil this for 10 minutes. Like I said, we're going to be stirring a lot. And then we're going to pour it back into here. But my calculation for time, this one should be ready by the time I put it back into it. So now we can just go for a mash out. All right, let's go. Hey guys, well, as you see, we finished boiling. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna transfer back into the main mash, which has been, it's been, uh, uh, this one has been uh, matching as well, 65 degrees. So what we're gonna do, put it back into it, and then we're gonna raise temperature to um, uh, 75 degrees to do a sparge. So we're gonna get our sparge water. I'll tell you the volume in a minute. Okay, let's do it. Well guys, the volume is 10 gallons.
Well guys, 10 gallons. We're gonna uh, heat it up to 75 degrees to do a scorch. Hey guys, what we're finished, we just transferred. Uh, what we got here is we got 18 gallons. <clears throat> now we're gonna boil. People from Victoria know you normally lost like or lose like one gallon, one and a half gallon, depending on the humidity. I'm expecting losing a gallon today, so we're gonna end up by 17 after fermentation. Should be getting 16, which is my goal. All right, let's do it. Hey guys, well we're ready. We got a little mess in here because uh, I only have one pound of sass, a little bit left. So we we'll wouldn't quite make it as the 40 IBUs I was looking for. So what I did here is like 30 grams of less, 6.4% of acid. According to my calculation, 60 minutes of boiling will be six, uh, uh, six IBUs. 91 grams of sass, this sass was a 3.5% of acid. Uh, if I boil it for, for 30 minutes, that should give me, according to my calculation, 10 IBUs. Then, I'm going to use 248 grams of sass. This sass is a 3.1% of acid. Uh, 60 minute boil, my calculation telling me that should be 24 IBUs. So, we aim it for 40. They were pretty good there. Okay, let's, let's add it. Hey guys, so we've been uh, 45 minutes through the boil, so it's 50 minutes left. We're gonna add 85 grams of sass. This sass is a 3.1% of acid. And this sass is for uh, aroma. Okay, let's add it. Hey guys, it's the end. We're gonna use the rest of the sass that I had. So there's a uh, 117.5 grams of uh, sass, 3.1% of acid, and just for aroma, 80, 80 degrees right now. So the famous uh, hop, hop stand, let's add it.
Hey guys, well, end of the video. Look at that glittery. To be only three or four days on the cake, wow, that's super clear. I'm impressed. Um, <laughs> Ukrel, yeast by, um, or oh, from White Yeast Labs. It works awesome. It works awesome. Um, the cocktail brings us a little bit of a melanoidous uh, smell. They're here, smell really nice. I really like it. I believe, but being honest with you, if a Pilsner, uh, let's see, a German Pilsner or a Bohemian Pilsner doesn't have melanoid um, smell on it, or you can smell the melanoids, I wouldn't call it a Pilsner. I would call it a commercial beer. But anyways, anybody can do whatever they wanna do, right? So what we do is like, we really like the cocktail. I think bring the beer to the next level, being honest. The cocktail and Hefe Bison, the cocktail and Pilsner, the cocktail on Dunkel's, uh, Dunkel Bison's. I really, really recommend it. But you don't have to do it if you don't want to spend the time. The way I see it is like, okay, we're going to make beer for ourselves. Do you really want to have a shitty beer? Or do you really want to have a beer that you can do in like three hours? Would you spend an extra two hours to get the beer even better? Wouldn't you do it? I would, at least I do. Well, anyways, who cares? And uh, <clears throat> this beer turns out actually pretty good. One of my favorite ones. It's very close to the Ukrel. I wouldn't say it is like the Ukrel. Like, Ukrel is understanding. It's another level. That's another level of ruin. But I'm happy. And well, this is the end of the video. So if you made it that far, please subscribe. Activate the notification and give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Come on. If you get it, if you make it that far in the video, that means you're gonna like it. So if you're interested for what will happen in the podcast with Ian and all that kind of stuff, more podcasts coming. We're trying to make one podcast every two weeks, something like that. We it's just so far it's just a pilot, it's just a project, but we really want to do it. I also had another couple of friends from here from Victoria they want to participate as well so I think we can make it really cool well guys what else can I say um, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one